Hello, good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, wherever you may be on the radio, guys. And as you can see by the title, we're going to be trying out the dipole again. Yep, yeah, round two. Um, I've got the grease. The grease came today. So there we go. If I move it that way, that's the one. So the grease came today. So we're going to uh, take this up, get it all greased up, all, all the connections and everything. And uh, we're going to see how we get on. Hello CQ, hello CQ, this is 26 Division 26 Tango Charlie 101 looking for DX and we're standing by, please QRZ. Uh, Tango Charlie 101 so uh, hi guys, just I'm at my balcony. Uh, one of the reasons I'm trying to die pole again is because as you can see I've got a bit of a dog leg in the IMAX again. Um, I don't know if you can see that or even tell, we'll try and zoom in on it. But uh, it doesn't look too bad, but I just don't want it coming down. I mean, we did have a couple of bad winds not so long ago, but it, it should have been okay. Um, I think I need a longer pole. But what we're going to do, I've already made the um, antenna up, so yeah, that will be easy. Um, grease on it and taped up to the nines but we just need to undo these bolts reel this in and what we'll do we'll put the, the boom arm on this pole just the boom arm and then the boom arm I should say and then what we'll do we'll connect the rest of the dipole up to the boom arm and then we'll just swing it out and then move the whole pole out but I'll, I'll show you as I'm going along how I'm doing it um, I'll put a link up to when I tried the dipole before and that way you can see how it all goes together but uh, yeah uh, probably going to do this over two days and we'll see how we get on hopefully with it sticking out five foot that way and sticking out five foot that way we may get a bit more sort of area that we can see, but who knows? Um, it's worth a try anyway. If this doesn't work out this time, then <laughs> it's back to the drawing board, and we may try a um, we may try another antenna anyway. And um, anyway, I, I, I spoke to you about that um, on the live stream a couple of weeks ago. What I'm thinking of getting, and I can't for the life of me remember the name. Anyway, let's uh, go and get, get this sorted and see how we get on. So guys, I just thought I'd quickly show you, um, I've put algamating tape on the Gamma Match and I've put grease um, on these connectors. So when I slid the pole down, grease, aluminium, that aluminium grease I got and also algamating tape um, on, on the poles on each section. So, you know, I will do it when I put it out on the balcony as well. I just thought I'd show you. So there you go, guys. That is it sealed up. That's the main antenna sealed up. Um, when I go to put um, these in the holes on the balcony, I will grease these up. Um, they go into the, of course, you've seen this before, guys. They go into this. Of course, they go in there. I'll, I'll make sure there's grease round there and I will put some algamating tape round round the outside when the antenna goes in but like I say I'm going to do it all all oh, hoover um <laughs> I'm going to do it all in one go uh, on the balcony so yeah uh, I've been just cleaning the balcony up and everything as well getting stuff out off the balcony I don't need and uh, we'll get this up tomorrow now um tomorrow's Thursday I'm only working a f few hours in the morning so hopefully dipole you, we'll check the swab before we push it all out and everything and hopefully fingers crossed it won't get any water ingress um or if there was another problem <laughs> we'll find out if that problem still exists but uh yeah so that's that's all done all ready to go and uh that's the pole all ready to go and like i say what we'll do we'll just put that on the pole i've got swing it in work on the antenna on the balcony 
by just putting the poles and then tying it up. I ain't seen it be an easy way of doing it, to be honest, guys. But uh, there you go. Anyway, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. OK, guys, it's Thursday, not long back from work. First thing that we're going to do is undo all the bolts and uh, reel the uh, IMAX in. See you in a bit. Probably made that look easy, I don't know. It is a bit of a struggle, but as you can see, it's pretty simple a little task just to pull the stuff in and then be able to get the antenna. It would be nice if I could get that on some sort of rollers and uh, roll it in and out and then tighten it up, but um, beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, let's get the IMAX down and find out what the hell's wrong with it. I'll, uh, what we'll do, we'll get it down. Because a disaster might strike, I don't know. But we'll get it down and uh, we'll see what that kink's all about in the middle. I don't think it's broke, but uh, we're still going to try the dipole anyway. So there's that centre section, guys. And I don't know what's happened, but it, it does seem to be a bit bent. Um, I don't know. Maybe the thread's bent, it's bent that way. Mm. But it was quite easy to get down. Lucky for me, it's not windy. Anyway, guys, we've got the other section of the dipole, the boom arm. We'll stick that on. Um, and that should be the sort of hardest part done, really. Right, so back to it we go. So here's the boom arm, guys, of the dipole. And we just, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'm an umpty. I wanted the ballon to go over this and I've tightened all these up. I've tightened all the back screws up and I wanted the ballon to go over this. Uh, well, <laughs> right, we're going to have to redo that. Ballon's now on the pole and I've put some self amalgamating tape around the, uh, where it connects so no water ingress in there either. Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get this on the pole now. Just finger tighten it. Now that will make it to, easy to work on, put, putting the other poles on. Um, I could slide it out a bit more, which I might do actually. Yeah. Right, so we'll get the bottom section and the top section and hopefully that will be easy all just to uh, stick in. I've got to remember the grease though, that's something I must remember. Right, I'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm just going to use a brush to put a bit of grease on, the, on, on the, uh, this end and I will use some tape as well. But it's, it's easy to work on like this. I, for the last time, I don't know why I bloody struggled getting the dipole up, but um, yeah, nearly done. So, just showing you how I'm putting the grease on. It won't make it watertight, but I will use some uh, algamating tape as well. Right, make sure I get the right size Allen key before I start uh, hanging over the balcony. Right, just by luck, the wind's picked up. Um, right, I'll get the top section in. I won't show you the top section, I'll just get some tape around that, get the top section in, and uh, we'll be back and check this one out. And we're up. There we go, guys. I'm not as high. But do you know what? I don't think it makes much difference around here with the flat being in the way. But there you go, she's up. Uh, we'll just go and check the soir and see how we're getting on with the soir. But uh, nice and solid and uh, straight, I think. Well, we'll take a picture from downstairs later. Right, let's go and check uh, the soir. I did check it before I pushed it out, but um, it's a bit high uh, in some places, but not in others. But anyway, we'll go and check the soir and uh, see how we're getting on with that. 
Guys, why do I do these things in the winter? I never know. Um, yeah, it must have been two years ago I tried the um, three element beam. <laughs> but it's looking good. I, I like it. It's, it's a nicely made antenna. Let's just hope we don't get any water ingress. Of course, we'll come back and try. Uh, but I'm just going to show you the soi. Um, the good thing about the ICOM is you can check the soi. If I just go into the menu, you can check the soi across the board. I've done it in 100 kilo. Uh, 100 kilo steps so well, let's just see the swire if you look at that bottom there we're on 27 000, 000, 000 as you can see and we just key up key up key up key up So where am I low? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to take that. It looks like it's um, going to be pretty low down. And Let's have a look at the meter. Right, 26.760. I'm one to one. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see the frequency. 26.820. So if you just have a look at the soir. Yeah, could I change that? I probably could, but you know what? I am happy with that. I am happy with that. Oh, that's 28. We don't want to go up there. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm happy with that. I don't think it's going to cause any problems. So, yeah. Um, pretty cool. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. Um, all done. We'll see if we can get any copies. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> this stuff right we'll probably be out at the weekend i'm not sure but uh, if we get any uh, contacts we'll see how we get on the noise is still the same as it's always been i can't seem to change that i would have thought being out a little bit more no it's about the five i don't think i can change that oh no we're going down it's a bit lower than it was but anyway guys we'll be back if we get any contacts on the dipole i'm going to go and get showered and get cleaned up and tidy the balcony because it's a bloody mess and uh, we'll catch you in a bit. I'm hoping it being further away in the building stops any sort of reflection. Yeah, get out, we for a little help. We're probably a problem with all because it's not a quarter. Uh, but it's definitely working. We hope you can receive it. It's quite good. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. We're more like it, but uh, hopefully receive. I'll send you a video tonight because I'm recording it. But obviously, I'm recording it from my my other phone and I don't have a SIM card on it out so uh, I'll put it on the group there and later uh, you did come up 5758 but it's quite a lot of kids to see you know the back of QRM on six Roger Darren, well I'm, I'm hearing you no problem, I, I still have the same amount of QRM I always have, it's just under the 5, normally I get a signal 5 of QRM but that is on preamp 1, I use it on preamp 1, I always use uh, the 700 preamp 1 so uh, if I drop the preamp down uh, to nothing, to zero, then uh, I do have a low noise floor but um, yeah it, it works for me, it works for me on preamp 1 right? Ah, it's working then, mate. It's working. That's fantastic, there. And as I say, you're about five and seven, five and eight, five, seven, five, eight, and then you're dropping down to five and two, five and four. But I do have as a station on Alpha Light or Fox Dot Light above the LSB here, uh, so I'm getting a little bit of QRM and some uh, propagation noise. Yeah. Wait, I'll, I'll hold it, mate. I'll be five minutes off now. Let's get that nice and much. Cheers out, enjoy your DX mate. We maybe catch you uh, later on, mate. 73. Okay, Darren, absolutely great. I've just recorded a little bit of our conversation. I'll put it on the group. Um, so you'll see how well you were coming into me. Absolutely the strongest signal I've heard you on, I think. <laughs> so absolutely brilliant stuff. Darren, have a great day, buddy, and uh, we'll catch you very soon. All the best. Thanks for the rig check. I copy you now, loud and proud, Al. Oh, you're 
you're running 5.7, 5.9, nice modulation. It's your voice. I can tell it's nice. Yes, and you should be out because when you see this video, when you see this video and listen to your station, uh, I'm running right now, so uh, it's it's one of the it's the best signal you put out so far, bud. Yeah, five and seven, five and seven there, Al. So there we go, guys. That's what it looks like from the Binshu room. As you can see, the videos I've just posted up, I'm doing okay. What we'll do, we'll go and have a look downstairs. It's, it's in a different position to what it was in before. I'm hoping it's more out in the open, but um, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Hopefully, they'll let me keep it up. But they didn't have a problem with the IMAX, but this is a bit sticky outy. But um, I may have to mess around with it and maybe stick it out a bit more. I don't know yet, but uh, we'll go downstairs and uh, have a look what it looks like from on the floor. Well, I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, let's zoom in. Yeah, I've, I've made sure it's all straight and everything. It doesn't look very straight, but it looks impressive. I like it. I like the dipole. Just have a look. A lot of metal on that balcony. <laughs> yeah. I'm quite happy with that, guys. You can't really see it very well. It sort of blends into the building a little bit, but uh, yeah, blooming antenna farm up there. Oh, sorry. Moving the video. There we go guys, didn't take too long at all, um, got it made sure I got it all set up quickly and uh, it's working well. What I'll do, I'll do another video on it from the shack maybe uh, in a couple of weeks um, just to see how we're getting on. But uh, about to take the dog out for a walk, but thanks for watching guys. It is in a different position as it was before, but uh, we'll just have to see how we get on and uh, I'm going to be speaking to a couple of locals tonight, try, probably try one of the nets. and. Um, yeah, but yeah I'm, I'm pleased with it so far anyway, it, it, it's looking good, but uh, going to go and walk the dog and we will catch you very soon. Thanks for watching guys, I hope it was helpful, um, maybe, I don't know, I know, I do know a few people have come back to me about um, setting up one of these, but uh, I've sealed it good and proper, let's just hope we get any rain, it, it, it's, it doesn't get any water regress. It looks further away on the phone. Anyway, there you go, guys. I'm hoping it's further enough away from the building. Uh, keep liking and subscribing, guys. Please hit that like and subscribe. Uh, it keeps. I don't know why it does this when it gets to the 100, but it keeps going up and down a little bit. But uh, get me to that 800, and then uh, we're on the run to uh, 1,000, which is would be great for me. Anyway, we'll catch you soon. Have a great weekend, and uh, yeah, catch you on the radio. Ciao, ciao, guys. All the best.